How can I help? Of course. Your command? Onward. Onward. Very well. You have done far more than I could have hoped. You have already reversed our fortunes, not once, but twice now. You have my gratitude. I think our position here is secure for at least a ten day, and I need you to go on a task of some urgency. I need you to rendezvous with the Neverwinter forces. They still have not arrived, and they may need assistance. Tell them of our situation here, and all we have discovered about the actions of the Horde in this region. Once you meet up with the Neverwinter forces, join with them and see what can be done to put an end to this threat to the Ten Towns. We cannot leave any loose ends. Whatever creature or creatures are behind this, they must be stopped. I will see to it that you are well compensated for your efforts. Oswald believes he can find them in his airship. It is moored just north of here, and I have told him to expect you. Farewell, and may good fortunes guide your efforts. I am here. Agreed. Ready and waiting. Forward. How can I help? Agreed. It shall be done. Ah, welcome back. Something I can help you with? A potion to put some color in your cheeks, perhaps? Oh, you'll have to wait. There's another group I have to take to the Western Pass first, to meet up with the Neverwinter forces, you know. Are you sure? Well, you know, you must be. I'm quite sure Lord Ulbrich wouldn't make a mistake like that. Are you ready to leave now? I can cast off immediately if you like. Hmm. You know, and I'm saying this simply because, well, it could happen, but we might not be able to come back to Targos for some time. Yes, as in, not at all. So I wouldn't leave anything behind. Bring everything you need, especially warm cloaks. Very cold in the Western Pass, as I understand it. 
Well, you know, accidents happen, and the wind's awfully strong. In any event, I just wanted to make sure you were ready, and had everything, in case we never come back. To Targos, that is. Very well, I'll be here. Jo Very well. Yes? Forward. Of course. Forward. At once. Are you ready to? I am here. It shall be done. Oh, hello. Are you ready to leave? Or were you just looking to buy some potions? Ship? Oh, you mean this one here? You mean my airship? Yes, yes, indeed. It's mine. Beautiful, isn't it? didn't know which ship you meant at first, for there are many common ships about, but this one is quite extraordinary. Most ships travel upon the water. This one, however, travels upon the air. Oh, you'll have to wait. There's another group I have to take to the Western Pass first, to meet up with the Neverwinter forces, you know. Are you sure? Well, you know, you must be. I'm quite sure Lord Ulbrich wouldn't make a mistake like that. Are you ready to leave now? I can cast off immediately if you like. Hmm. You know, and I'm saying this simply because, well, it could happen, but we might not be able to come back to Targos for some time. Yes, as in, not at all. So I wouldn't leave anything behind. Bring everything you need, especially warm cloaks. Very cold in the Western Pass, as I understand it. Well, you know, accidents happen, and the wind's awfully strong. In any event, I just wanted to make sure you were ready, and had everything, in case we never come back. To Targos, that is. As the plains turned into hills, the wind turned gale. Uncle had seen storms appear quickly, but this was like a bolt from an angry god. He managed to evade what he believed was the worst of the storm by flying low. He then beheld a wall of ice in the Western Pass. Wild men whipped their hands in magical patterns atop the frozen barrier. My uncle gasped when he heard the balloon tear above him, and he told me what frightened him most before the ship crashed that day. It was the silence, he said. As the ship fell, the casters froze on the wall, and the storm abated. There was no sound, and no motion. Just the face of Faerun rising to meet him. In all the years that Uncle Oswald flew his airship, I can't honestly say he had more successful landings than crashes, but 
even he could not have known the difficulties that lay ahead of him in the western pass of the spine of the world. Adventurers aboard, the flight from Targos was accompanied by a flurry of sound and motion from the winter thrushes that had once again perched on the roofs of the aching town. All along the tundra, pilot and passengers watched the corpse cloth flutter in the winter wind. It was a whispering herald of things to come. As the plains turned into hills, the wind turned into a gale. Uncle had seen storms appear quickly, but the one that swept down from the spine of the world was like a bolt from an angry god. He managed to evade what he believed was the worst of the storms as he flew low over the foothills and told the adventurers to take cover. When Uncle's eyes peered out from the melting snow rushing across the deck, he beheld a wall of ice in the canyon of stone that was the Western Pass. Wild women whipped their hands in magical patterns on top of the frozen barrier, their snow-white robes poorly covering rime-armored flesh. My uncle gasped when he heard the balloon pop and tear above him. He wouldn't talk about it for years after, but he eventually told me what frightened him most before the ship crashed into the foothills. It was the silence, he said. When the ship fell, the wild women relaxed and froze on the wall. The storm abated in a heartbeat. There was no sound, no motion, but the face of Faerun rising to meet him. I'm here. You want me? Whatever you say. Ready and waiting. Very well. It shall be done. How can I serve? Very well. What? Oh, oh, pardon me. I must have fallen asleep again. <laughs> Phew! Good thing we weren't flying at the time. Thank you. It was simply beautiful. The trance, I mean, not the crash. I was a baby kraken swimming through river clouds of soft molten gemstone. Those episodes are rare, but have happened before. Well, usually right after a crash. Indeed. I can make lightweight plate mail in one day, field plate in two, or full plate armor in three, all for a reasonable price. Which would you like? Most excellent. It shouldn't take long at all to make. Check back with me later. Oh, and don't forget to bring enough gold with you. Yes, worse than ever before. And that maelstrom of ice! My goodness! We never had a chance. Of course I can. I'll need to find more components, though, and guard my ship, or what's left of it. Say, I could guard the ship while you retrieved my spell's components. I wrote them all down in that book over there. Interested? No, no, it's not ready yet. Give me a little more time. Yes, worse than ever before. And that maelstrom of ice! My goodness! We never had a chance. Of course I can. I'll need to find more components, though, and guard my ship, or what's left of it. Say...
Yes? Very well. What'd you want? Done and done. Speak your mind very well. Your command? Of course. Of course. Certainly. Here, it shall be done. How can I help? Of course. How can I serve? Where are they at? Yes? Agreed. Speak your mind. It shall be done. Your command at once. What? Yes? Faccio, faccio, fere. Manus, potentis, paro. I am here. Forward. Ready and waiting. Onward. How can I help? Forward. There is strength in my It is such a shame. They die too. How can I serve? Yes. Of course, whenever my skills are needed. Agreed. Agreed. There is none better than whenever my skills are needed.
speak your mind. Where are they at? Your command? Agreed. I am here. Ready and waiting. It shall be done. Why, hello again. Indeed. I can make lightweight plate mail in one day, field plate in two, or full plate armor in three. Most excellent. It shouldn't take long at all to make. Check back with me later. Oh, and no, no, it's not ready yet. How can I help? Forward. How can I serve? Of course. Point me to a fight. Manus, Potentis, Paro. Yes? At once. your mind. My Sarg is greater than yours. Speak. Of course. I am here. Your life is for me. Yes, Jerry. Order you to protect me. Quit your blubbering. What is your end? How can I help? It shall be done. I'm for fight. Will do. How can I at once? It shall be done. Why, hello again. Can I help you with any... No, no, it's... No, no, it's not ready yet. Give me a little more time. Manus Potentis Paro. Your command? I am here. Very well. Onward. The best. Here I Ready am. And waiting. Agreed. Bloody skull. Fine. Some action. Ask politely or you die. It shall be done.
What you want? Ready and waiting. How can I help? Onward. How can I serve? Yes? Need something done right? Seems simple enough. Speak your mind. Forward. What'd you want? Done and done. You want me? Speak. Silent, but deadly. That's me. Sir. Yes? No quarter. It shall be done. You need one as adept as myself? I am here very well. My finely honed and incredibly acute skills await whenever my skills are needed. Ready and waiting. At once. 